Hi everyone, welcome back to Path of Exile. So, fucking, we're gonna go back to the marketplace now. We have no nothing more in our hideout. We've done our master's quest for for the day, and uh, right past the waypoint, there's the catacombs, another optional area. So we can get even further ahead in levels. Yeah, we're, as I said, we're doing all the optional areas. You can skip this one, although although it has ancient graffiti, so you may want to look at that now. We want to, that's also lore stuff, but I'm not looking at it every single day, obviously, for that, so. Because it would take a really damn long time, and there's nothing here. Yeah, but there's a, one of the, the trials of ascendancy in this area, so we need to go do that. Oh, we've got to get all the optional content. All the, right. well, I mean, that's not really optional. There hey, Harbringer, a, Harbringer. Uh, Harbringer. Harbinger. Harbringer. Dude, this is the Did assuming... Did you just correct me? This is the... This is the assuming direct control league. Oh my god, you just corrected me. This is the first. Spirit is spent. And we're playing Mass Effect oh, 2 right I now. I corrected you. I always correct you. I always tell you that, like, the science crap, and you're like, no, I'm going to play Scion. Wow. Well, that's Fair the enough. best corrections I can possibly do. There's only so much I can do for you, Pat. Oh. You know the first the first edition of these traps that they made for this game and I'm fucking were dying. crazy. I'm, well, I mean they were crazy, but also they would. Um, I remember that they uh, they said they disabled movement skills and everyone got pissed off. I was like in the, their beta version of it or something. Well, yeah, because they kept putting these invisible walls. So even if you use the movement skill, it only took you like two feet. Hope in the left hand. Thank God they decided not to do that. All right, there's actually an ending to this place. It was actually one of the common places that you used to farm. But that is not really the case as a 3.0 because, uh... They well, added things. Well, they're fucking, like, fucking 10x now, so... I mean, for anyone who doesn't know, they, um... I mean, the game... When I came into the game, I think there was only up to Act 2. And I, and I tried it out for a bit. That's when it was, like, an open beta or something. I think you... I think it had Act 3 when you were playing because you could still fight fighting. No. I mean... No, they added the piety fight shortly after I started. Oh, okay, fair enough. I think I tried it. I maybe didn't beat the game when I first tried it, but yeah, there's only Act Two. So basically, we would we were technically new content according to myself of like a couple years ago. And then and then they added Act Three. That was when I started playing the game a lot. And this is by the way the ending area. It's this big, big fucking atrium or whatever the fuck this is. Ah, oh, silver points. Cool. So we're just well, holding on to those forever. Um, and some people actually may or may not have noticed, though. I, I feel like I should point this out. While we were doing the um, the uh, the masters, the masters missions, I actually found an item called the Dying Breath, and I, I threw yeah, the two I, jewelers I, I had at it. I'm sure really you did. Would. I'm sure you found it during that moment. Fuck you. <laughs> but, one of, uh, one of his friends. This is gonna be the uh, support item for my build. Yeah, it gives him increased area of, uh, effect of some skills. Uh, or is allies gain damage. Yeah, it's just a, it's a neat support item that he's planning on incorporating his build. He actually asked me before this. He's like, "Man, should I should I have that thing, or is it gonna confuse everybody?" And I'm like, I'm "Like, no, because that that's really something that could drop at this stage in the game." So it's yeah, it's possibly. I mean, it's, a pretty, it's actually a surprisingly low level item yeah, for right. what it gives. We're actually done with this area. No, oh. I think all that was there was the labyrinth anyway. I mean, it, and that little dead end area with the monsters. So it's kind of neat. Alright, now we're but, done that. Like, Mike's running one aura right now. Or, I don't think- Are Herald. you even running one aura yet? I'm, oh, you're, I'm you're running a arrow. Running- I'm already hands. running, like, two auras. I'm gonna be running a bunch of them so I can support Mike and be the- Be the best lich I can be. He wants to be a support. And then always complains and never buys wards. Hey, I buy wards. I, I buy as many wards as anybody else. It's not my fault that I admit- Hey, hey there you go. There you got another unique. I'll, I'll- I'll pick it up I'll have a look at it, what it is. This is, uh, spell damage. Increased fire damage, adds fire damage to spells, increase global critical strike chance, and reduce ignite duration. It's a, it's a leveling bar. Oh, Jesus, it's loud. Yeah, I, I don't know why it's so loud. Uh, you know what, I think your fucking item filter sound is too loud. Probably. There's actually a setting for that. Right here. I item filter alert. Right there. Oh, yeah, mine was at max volume where everything else was at like 10%. <laughs> that would be why I was That's loud. probably why my ears are bleeding. Always check your sound levels, folks. So this weapon of mine is sort of starting to fall off, but not not too much yet. 
We, we may want an upgrade soon. But we'll get to that point. I, I've unfortunately, unfortunately for anyone watching, I've gotten extremely lucky and uh, I haven't had to roll an extra item and I feel it's wasteful just to roll it just to show you guys how to roll items, but we will do it at some point. Um, as I said, you just you quality up a, a piece of gear and you just throw an alchemy at it. That's really what it is. The highest level that you can possibly get. So that axe I bought in like I think the last episode is technically the highest level that I can possibly get. But I'm kind of holding off on... And, and when I say highest level, I mean the, requ the, the level requirement, by the way. Because, like, let's say this this helmet here is like a... I don't, um, it says requires level 26. You can actually see that as a stat. Not item level, it's the, the level requirement. Because that tells you how high of a level kind of is. And I'm going to kind of look around here. Oh, there we go. Oh, is Ooh, it? you found the question... Uh, explanation point. Uh, it's not a question mark, but jeez. I don't know English, damn it. That's my job. It's a hard language. Apparently I don't know how to go past this. You walk around it, Mike. It's easy. So this guy over here... It's an ornate chest with a uh, decanter spiritus in it. Which Pat will proceed to not pick up, but we're doing every option. Hold on, let me just here. drop it because you're just being a dick. I mean, I can't see you drop it because it's your item. Oh! It's locked to you, oh, remember? Shit. It's a quest item. So, I can't see it on his on his screen. Well, well, let me just tell you that I did drop it, and uh, I'm being a butt about it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take your word for it. But we're doing all the quests and side quests and all that kind of stuff in this game. It's not that we just skip because the rewards are just not worth it, but, you know. Well, we'll, we'll show you what they do. Alright, so we got Essence of Anger. And a level up, apparently. Alright. Nice. This is our big level, guys. And we also got a jewel here. Oh shit. Jewels are usually always worth identifying because maybe they'll give you some good stats, but this one's kind of just some. eh, whatever. The jewel sockets, by the way, are you put them into these jewel sockets here. I've already picked one up, and that's where they that's where they go. There's one here, there's one here, one here, and still again. Alright, so here's uh, Resolute Technique. I'll open up my character sheet here. So if we actually look at this, so my chance to hit is 93%. I mean, technically, I don't need this right now, but I'm, I might as well just go for it anyways because my total crit chance is 5%. So, by getting this node, I have a 100% chance to hit all the time. It actually raised my DPS, but uh, all my crit stuff is just completely gone, because I can't I can't crit anymore. But that means I'll, I'll never miss, though. So it's actually, it's overall... I mean, that's not the worst downside ever. I mean, honestly, it, it's, it becomes more effective as we go, as we continue through the game, because now accuracy is just not a problem for me. That's righteous fire on that person or something. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And he's using Stormburst too. Oh, oh good. Then we, have nothing, we, then we have nothing to be worried about. Oh, Storm Call. Okay. Yeah, that is something to worry about. <laughs> That's a little bit more dangerous. So now I just I, I don't even worry about accuracy anymore. It's just uh we're good we're Gucci now. Oh, flame sentinels. My favorite. I love flame towels. You know, I, I should have something at this point that's actually useful. Oh my god, you're using hatred now, I just noticed that. Yeah, I told you I was. When did you start doing that? Like, fucking last fucking episode-ish. I, really? told you, I told you, you even said, like, earlier that we were, uh, that I was running an aura. Oh, okay. Heralds don't count as auras. I thought that's all you were, I, I, I'm an idiot. Never yeah, mind, they for me. You kind of are. I'll agree with you. So... The, the fact that you saw actually the little towels or whatever they're called, they're called like, um... Galvanic uh, ribbons. Galvanic ribbons, or something. they're ribbons, basically. They're fighting the black guards. That's actually new to 3.0. They used to not fight each other. The joke used to be that, uh, everything in this game hates one thing more than, uh, than each other, and that's you. <laughs> so Which they're like, keep up. not necessarily wrong. Yeah, but now they actually have infighting. I'm gonna get the waypoint. The waypoint's always, like, right next to the little... So on the left side of the map, there's this place with the little quest thing here, and then the... Yeah, I'm having like leg spikes again. And and then the waypoint is right beside it. And the little books you see on the map, that's lore, and I'm just, I'm not going to. I, there's a lot of it. And it is really worth, if you're really into the game, uh, I mean, if you like the story so far, as I said, there's plenty for you to explore. I just, I, I figured we're going to get basically 90% of the story down. But in terms of lore and stuff, it's very rich in lore. It's like, it kind of reminds me of, um, what, what are the, um, I mean, Diablo was kind of rich in lore. You had to go looking for it, but... Are you thinking of, like, Baldur's Gate and shit? No, because I never played Baldur's Gate. 
And I tried yeah, to. Yeah, it's probably for the best. I tried to, and I, I couldn't get into it. That's too much story for you. <laughs> too much reading. Too much reading. I mean, reading's I they, not for everybody. I think they had like voice dialogue, but yeah, I don't, I don't really like games where I have to read out things. Oh Jesus! Uh, it's the shipyard terror, the boss of this area. No, oh, he was a terror, terribly bad. Terror, <laughs> funny. <laughs> actually, there's something Fuck interesting. You. So now, now my item filter is actually hiding things. I'm using the default. If I hold Alt, there's a couple of more items here actually that yeah, I can't there see is, the ground. Isn't there? Yeah. But the they're already really low level shit. They're low level at this point. That's why it's, the default one is now hiding them from me. So that's what the item filter does. And if you hold Alt, which is my pickup key, um, which I have it configured as such, then I can see it on the ground. But that's what item filters generally do. And as I said, you can download your own, but I'm just using the default so you get like a good idea of what you would expect if you were kind of playing through the game for the first time. I, I, I sincerely hope you, you did set it up. And we have a... Jeweler's box. I'm gonna just jump away from oh, it. Shit. I mean shit. There's it next, exploded. Uh, or ya Ana. Or Ona. Or ya Ona. Yeah, okay. They're dead. It doesn't matter what their name is. Colossal uh, Mana Flask. I don't know why it's like a different shade of blue. Because it's a Mana Flask? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. Gold Ring. Sure. I'm gonna look at most of this stuff. A yeah, lot of I don't have any more Wisdom Scrolls. I have lots, and I, I like how this is shaking a little bit. The fucking oh, this is All actually the text. Th this is actually a really nice helmet. Unfortunately, I am using a helmet right now, but these gloves are okay because it's mostly a life roll. I'm looking at these with. It's actually not bad. The other stats are like mediocre, but the life roll is big. So we'll probably keep it around, and hopefully at some point we'll get it. You know, I should probably show people how to how to get some more wisdom scrolls. A little. Neat trick. Actually, oh, are you gonna do the scrap thing? Uh, I mean, no. I was gonna just say to sell a uh, sell a couple of uh, either armor scraps or whetstones. Yeah, scraps. I mean, you you get both of them. You get a lot of, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'll show you how much you get when we go back to town next time, which will be soon. Very soon. Because like that also might be a problem if you're like I've been meticulously picking everything up, but I just I just figured out now that maybe that isn't enough for some people. I mean, honestly, especially it is, considering I have none right now. It's it's an RNG game, so a lot of it is RNG. And using, haha, sucker. One of these days, Mike, I'll 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 be the scrap vendor, and you'll be begging me for scraps. Straight to the moon, Mike. Exa well. Do they have the moon in this game? Oh, wait, yeah, no, they do. Do they have the moon in this game? I don't know. They might not have moons. I don't know. There's a place called Lunaris Temple. <laughs> yeah, but that's not Lunar. It's Lunaris. You know, it, it might not be a moon. It might be like a another planetary One body. Second, there's a bunch of face. shit fucking my face here. Let's go kill this. Lunaris Temple. No, like, that literally means, like, moon. You know what, Mike? I find I find your disingenuous assertions to be grating. All right. Fuck it up. Aren't you the cringy one today? I do. That's usually my job. Hey, I gotta do something, dude, to keep this going. Oh. There we go. That's not so bad. Did we ever figure out what the shards do? Uh, not, yeah, they not the shards, but like the orbs themselves do. I mean, well, well, I'm, we're getting there. I think like I have one. I got one of them, which is, I think the engineer's orb, which uh, oh, reforges it into a rare with four link sockets, right? Yeah, yeah that one. That one was pretty legit, actually. I've been keeping them all up to now. Man, I can't wait till we get whatever that other kind of shard we got. What what, what other shards have we gotten? I don't know, fucking chaos shards. Oh, what? What do you think that turns into? Chaos orbs. Oh, you guessed correctly. There's something up there. Oh, there's. Yeah, there's something, there. something up here. Uh oh. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, oh, we got a corrupted area. All right, Pat can explain this one. So corrupted areas, as you can see, are this one's blue colored, and it works similarly to how other things do. Um, it's got its own mods, and they can be negative or positive, like this one has increased quantity of items found in this area, but also the monsters move and attack faster. But it's corrupted, meaning that you can't change the mods in it. 
and it can be a large variety of things. And at the end of it, there's always a boss that is guarding an item called a vol, uh, a vol item. The vol items can be a variety of things, and when we get there, we'll probably see what we get. I got an orb of vol uh, alteration, which refers to the magic item with new random properties. I don't want to use it on this, though, so... Uh, just fucking open it, I don't care. I wasted chance okay. on that, by the way. <laughs> It's the second time you I've used a chance orb. You are a very wasteful individual, aren't you? It's the second time I've used a cha chance orb, and then I didn't get a rare, and I just got one bad mod. You truly are the greatest. Fucking annoying. Alright. This is one of those few things that was never actually a League modifier. This is just something they added to the game at one point. Yeah. Just as part of the base game. It was never tested, it was just something that they added, and it's always been something I've greatly enjoyed. Yeah, we got some ball like gems. That. Vol gems are like super powerful versions of skills. But they got cooldowns and or costs that supersede other things. Alright, so now I'm at the point where I am now thinking about, okay, what else do I want to go into? And I think heading towards that life and mana leech should be probably good. Either that or we get some more life. Either one is a good idea. Ah, uh, we'll, get, we'll get the leech. We'll get the leech now. I like leech. It might make my mana sustain a little bit better. So who's the boss of this area? We're a Kucha, the ancient guardian. Oh, that's good. And he's dead. All right, we let just me open this. Kind of wrecked it. We got Vol Spark. Oh boy. Ah, that's a good one. So uh, I guess I'll maybe put that on. Except I don't have a single blue socket. I do if I. Put I got on some blue sockets. I mean, I. I oh wait, no, I don't. Alright, it's fine. I'll just put Harold of Ash here and. That's okay. Well, just to just to show you guys what it does. All right, so we have Vol Spark here now. So we can't use it. It's not a skill we can use. It needs um, forty-eight souls. So we'll head out first into the docks. I'll just show you how this works. Souls. This used to be a good skill, but I don't think it is anymore. <laughs> it may not be worth a whole lot anymore. There's a lot of valid changes that go on in PUE. Yeah, which is why I'm, I'm hesitant to tell you any certain skills to commit to because I mean who knows when you're watching this and when what changes hell it in the could year be, 2023 could be the next ball spark may be the only skill available yeah could be all right we got a waypoint here and fair grace ah, let's go talk to him what's he doing wait a minute here? I recognize that name yeah it's uh, the captain that we killed in act one yeah well, let's see what he's Dude, up to. zoom in and look at the water it's red it's oh, beautiful is that the moon do you think the moon ain't red. Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna Maybe. Talk. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Now there's a familiar face. Before you say anything, yes, I did try to kill you. Inexcusable. I allowed pragmatism to overcome honor in a moment of desperation. Please accept my deepest apologies. And what do you say? Can the two of us make a fresh start? Marvelous! Now, as you've clearly noticed, the All Flame has given me another respite from oblivion. Alas, it's a partial success only. I am neither man nor spirit, living nor dead. A state that comes with some rather frustrating restrictions. I know we've only just been reacquainted, but to put no finer point on it, I... I need your help. Interested, are we? Oh, splendid! In return, I have a gift or two that I may bestow upon you with a click of my translucent fingers. All you need do is furnish me with a crystal decanter and a juicy piece of fruit. Two humble items that remain agonizingly out of reach for a man in my peculiar situation. Will you look at that? The decanter spiritus. As exquisite today as when I found it all those years ago. <laughs> you may fault the man, but you can't fault his craftsmanship. All right, that's it for that guy, and we're not quite done here yet. Uh, we still have to find something in this area. Actually, if we went to the, if we went to Solaris, uh, we would have actually gotten the quest immediately. But I guess we'll just do it now. I don't really care. I mean, we're already here. Not as well. We're already here. This is how we normally do it. 
I mean, you don't really know to look for this stuff unless it tells you. Oh, oh, false spark is almost level. There's, oh, oh, dude, I'm getting like levels on it now. Awesome. I mean, it's like might as well explore all the way, you know. I mean, True I just, enough. if you if you go through the game and you can kind of figure out this kind of stuff, like the ribbon spool or whatever. Like, like, why do we have a ribbon spool? Who, who the fuck knows? How do you know? There are, there are literally towels everywhere, so... I mean, it does gotta make a little bit of sense. It's a giant ribbon spool. Man, how, how much more souls do you need for false heart? I'm like, three-fourths of the way there. Oh. And we're kind of already Spirit here. Is spent. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to kill anything with it. Alright, ready guys? Boom. There you go. That's, that's what we worked our way up to. Now that was a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, you can have Whoa. you can have Wolf Spark. I don't want that anymore. Oh my I, god, it's level five too. I, I even leveled it for you, isn't that crazy? Fucking Mike gives Dobby a ball spark, apparently. Yep. Uh, I mean I'm not a spellcaster, so I obviously have even less use for it than uh You're right. <laughs> than I mean I'm does. not really a spellcaster either. I mean, you're more spellcaster than me. May Mm, okay, you know what? Fair enough. I'll grant you that. Uh, does this ring any good? No, it's a piece of shit. All right. We're mostly looking for resistances and or life rolls. That's what I look on for gear right now. Let's see if I got anything new here. Engineer shard. Regal shard. Chaos Ooh. shard. Yeah, it's all shards so far. Yeah, we haven't really gotten anything new here. All right, so I'll show you the little trick I have. Um, I, I kind of like my whetstone, so I mean, either whatever you have a lot of, you usually need more armor scraps than you need whetstones, but I think whetstones give you slightly more. Uh, but what you can do is you can just take like two of them out of the stack. You need some more identify What's scrolls, and you sell this, and it gives you identify scrolls. As I said, whetstones give you, I think, slightly more. Uh, but I mean, it's up to you, because like, um, it takes, the way it works is, if you have a white item, it takes four of them to upgrade it to 20%, which is the maximum you can have. If it's a blue item, it requires 10 of them. Like, like the, the huge gap. It, it goes 4, 10, and then 20. So if you have anything like a rare or a unique, then it takes all, like, take, takes all 20, because they only upgrade 1% at a time. But if it's a white item, then it's just 5% at a time, so it's pretty good. I got, we'll, we'll show you later. If you, if you didn't catch that, then I'll, I'll show you later how we craft. Um, because it's kind of interesting. Still breathing. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Make sure you talk to Hargan to check to see if he's got any four lengths. Yeah, I probably Still should. Breathing, We're eh? kind of in the need for four lengths at this point, so we start looking for them. Uh, I mean, I got four sockets, but no four lengths. I mean, I, I got these actually. Uh, well, let me link them to you. Yeah, I could deal with that. I could. That's not so bad. Oh, that's evasion energy shield, but it's still not bad. Eh, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. I'm just lagging like fuck. <laughs> My internet sucks ass, man. Alright, so let's see here. So we have last raid. Uh, I mean, what should I put as a blue support? <laughs> Need something? See you. What should I put on the blue support? It's uh, a really good question, actually. I mean, how many chromatics? Yeah, maybe you could... No, no, I wouldn't risk I, it. I wouldn't want to. It's, it's a... By the way, so since this is an item that requires Jex and Int, it is more likely to roll uh, green and blue sockets. Um, which is why uh, I don't want I don't want to roll anything with that. I don't, I don't want to try to re-roll that at all. It's just It seems like a really, really bad idea. Uh, so what we can do is we can have to actually take the faster attacks and put that onto last rate. But now we kind of need a socket that is for you something. Can do con you can do concentrated effect since the attack is an AOE. I mean, I we'll just kind of look at the blue supports that we have. Physical to lightning? I don't think so. I don't think I get concentrated effect. I want to get something that is actually something that this class would normally get. I mean, you know what? I can I can hook up with faster attacks, and that's better than nothing, I guess. What little help I can offer. <laughs> There's literally no blue supports here. All right, we're gonna just leave it the way it is then. It's fine. I'm gonna still put these two things over there. Now I could roll that with a transmute. Whoops. Keep the item. 
I almost uh, sold it. Or oh shit, dude! Look at that. I rolled movement speed on those. Stallion. Yeah. Oh well, look at you, you stallion. Yeah. There you go. So I just rolled some nice boots there. Um. I unfortunately now can't run blood rage, but that's okay. I don't need it. Whoops. All right. Now we move significantly faster. So those are gonna be some nice boots we're gonna use for quite a quite a long time. I'll meet Pat back in the battlefront. So what's our quest say right now? Generally speaking, they're all saying to go to Solaris, or to go down there somewhere. The Swig of Hope and stuff is there, but unfortunately, if we actually if we actually go down this, if we attempt to go down that way, I actually need to... I can actually show off why, why we're doing these convoluted routes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, okay, we're gonna go over to there. Uh, well, there's some fucking guys on this bridge, this nice bridge here. Oh, the bridge is blocked, find another way. So if I think if we look at the map, yep. It's blocked by a thermotological barrier. So we can't actually what? go there. Thermo, don't make me fucking say it again, I swear to fuck. <laughs> Isn't it thaumaturgy? Yeah, whatever the fuck it is. Or I guess I'm thaumaturgical? Words? I'm being manly right now. Oh, dude, I gotta go fast. Oh, that'll increase. Yeah, it increases the size of your thing, too. The size wow, of my I shouldn't my, have said it like that. I should not dick? have said that. Increases the size of my dick? What are you talking no, about? No, it increases the size of your wind scar, dude. Look at that. Why am I stuck in an animation? Okay. The leg does weird things. My wind scar? Yeah. What are you talking about? That's its official name. The little blade attack you're doing. Jesus, man. Keep oh, up. yeah, it does do that, doesn't it? Because it's increased projectile speed. Oh, dude, there's another fucking thing over here. Let's just yeah. utilize the rest Increase of this. Increase quantity of item sound, and let's just take less physical damage. G fucking G. I mean, you look at the mods of this area. We didn't really look at them last time. This is basically just to give you a taste of the end game, because this is what the, the end game is basically like. It's kind of like quantity of... Uh, you basically get mods, and so this is like just one mod, but it increases the item drops in the area. And what the fuck? We just wait, 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 come back. Yeah, I just saw that. Alright, and then this is another item that we can get. It's their cards. And so if you trade four of them into a certain vendor, you just kind of pick them up and keep them around. Just are, are we Magic the Gathering now? We are. You can take that, pal. We'll take it. Basically, whenever you get them, find them, you pick them up, and that's it. It might give you something nice. It says they're life armor, so, you know, if we get a couple of those, it might be kind of good. Oh, man. Titan items have two additional sockets. Two additional sockets, yeah. So that could be really good, but it's probably right, gonna be this guy is kicking my ass. Come to help you. All right, he doesn't really have anything all that great there. I mean, there's a lot of sockets here, but none of it's linked, so it's kind of yeah. So it means that we'd have to link it ourselves, and at this stage in the game, we really don't want to do that because that those orbs of fusing you can use them, but you would rather not because. You want to use that on a good piece of gear. You don't want to have something on that we're just going to use for ten levels in this sort of way. It's a total waste. Pretty much. Because then you're going to get to a point in the game where you're going to be like, shit, everything's really difficult. Like, how the fuck do I? I need, I need a better piece of gear. You find a better piece of gear, but then you can't run your skills off of it. So we want, we want to wait. So, for example, Pat's, Pat's staff. He may actually want to suck at that because he's planning on using that until the end game. That he just yeah, but I've time. got enough sockets on it. But you just yeah, randomly sockets are also something you manage too, because with the orbs of fusing, you can link stuff together. But you may not always want it all linked together. How's this? And I know me and Mike have both been in situations where having something four links, because that increases the mana cost, isn't always the way to go. <laughs> all spark again. Well, how's the staff, by the way? What staff? The staff you. Oh, up. that staff. I was wondering if it was a combat stuff. Kind of is. Not really. Fuck it's it. Kinda, it's kind of poo. Yeah, I don't want it. Fuck. You know, if this was if this was before 3.0, that would be like a really great drop. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's not. Yeah, they did some changes to the way those work. They may still be really good though. Oh, man, the statues are fighting the people. Yeah. Like I said, it's, it's completely a weird thing to say, actually. 
So there's Gilded Axe, for example. That's level 28 and we're level 30. So that's actually a pretty good weapon to go to if we wanted to upgrade to that. But uh, I, don't think, I don't know if I really want to do that. I'll maybe just keep it around just for now. I have another one in my stash. And Brass Maul, for example, level 27. So, I mean, if we find something that's level 30, that's a 200 weapon, that might be really good. But we also have to keep in mind, we want to use it with the skills that we have. So, you know. True. But nothing, nothing prevents us if we find a good weapon and we kind of go back to another act and just pick up the skills there for it. You know, as long as it kind of fits our build, it's fine.